You know about Nate Silver, obviously from 538.com, which is one of the uh, most detailed and uh, I would say interesting to read polling election prediction websites. Nate Silver has a pretty good reputation. Nate Silver is a guy who has been, um, he's a New York Times statistician. He is, uh, of course, doing extensive polling on the 2012 election and did in 2008. And it turns out that right-wingers may not like Nate Silver. A conservative pollster named Dean Chambers is saying, we absolutely cannot trust Nate Silver's numbers. And do you know why we can't trust them? Because Nate Silver seems kind of gay, according to Dean Chambers. This is incredible. He has put out this investigative report where he basically says, it's liberal bias all around. And why is that? Well, here it is. Uh, here's exactly what he had to say. Nate Silver is a man of very small stature, a thin and effeminate man with a soft sounding voice that sounds almost exactly like the Mr. New Castrati voice used by Rush Limbaugh on his program. In fact, Silver could easily be the poster child for the New Castrati in both image and sound. Nate Silver may be of average might be of average intelligence, but is surely not the genius he's made out to be. Lewis, if you talk in a voice that appears to be effeminate, and by the way, Nate Silver is openly gay, obviously we can't trust your poll numbers, much the same way we can't trust you to do anything or uh, raise children, right? This opens uh, a lot of doors here. I'm convinced. Can't trust Nate Silver. Hmm. Now, what's funny is that this guy's website, Dean Chambers, is unskewedpolls.com. What's the current prediction on unskewedpolls.com? It says, quote, the updated definitive projection of the race. Romney wins 54 percent and 359 electoral votes. Now, Natan, you've been looking at these numbers extensively. What is the actual, based on not this individual, but based on an actual average of polls, how likely is it that Mitt Romney gets 54 percent of the popular vote and or 359 electoral votes? Well, look, there's uh, a number of polling aggregation websites that are taking an objective look at what the evidence says from mostly state polls, but also national polls. And of all of those, including Sam Wong's Princeton Election Consortium, Votomatic.com, there's a number of them. The HuffPost uh, blog has one of them, too. Nate Silvers is the most conservative. Right. He's giving Obama a 70, today I think it's 72 or 73 percent chance of winning. Compared to Sam Wong, who's up at like 97 percent. Exactly. So among all of the people who are looking at the evidence, not in a partisan way, objectively, as objectively as possible, Nate Silver is probably the most conservative, most favorable to Romney. I think that this election cycle, Lewis, the, the discussions of pollsters have gotten the most politicized that I can remember. And it's probably not going to stop, especially now that we have so many factors of, you know, cell phones is the often used one. But now is the Hispanic vote being considered correctly? Are changes in demographics and population being considered correctly? What is the bias and party affiliation? How are how is the likeliness of voting being considered? We will soon know in a week we will know which pollsters got it right this time around. I can only imagine that the pollsters who are way off and somebody inevitably is going to be way off, right? Because we've got of such course. disparate predictions are no longer going to be taken seriously. At least I hope not. Yes. Maybe. Uh, but four years from now, people probably won't even remember. <laughs> you think so? To be, to be perfectly honest. Yeah. I don't know. Let me make one further point on this whole thing. Yeah. Certainly this isn't the, you know, the crux of the argument, but Nate Silver, Sam Wong, you know, all these people that are really taking a good look at the evidence and making predictions based on them, their reputation is riding on this. They are, they are not doing this with a partisan interest. If they get this wrong, their reputation is going to be on the line. And I can't say that for most of the pundits that are criticizing them. They're not going to lose their jobs or their reputations if they get it wrong. Absolutely. Good point.